Hello and welcome to marketing91.com. Strategic management involves decision making that could have significant long-term consequences for an organization. Therefore, strategy evaluation is considered essential for an organization's well-being. Strategic evaluation and control aims to determine the effectiveness of a given strategy for achieving organizational objectives and taking necessary corrective actions. Criteria for evaluating strategy Qualitative criteria that include internal consistency, consistency with environment, external consistency, appropriate use of organizational resources, minimize risk, workability of strategy, time horizon, short term and long term. Quantitative criteria which include net profit obtained, ability to pay dividend, sales growth, market share, employee attrition and satisfaction and cost efficiency. Steps of evaluation. Strategy evaluation is a phase in strategic management in which managers ensure that a strategic choice is implemented properly and is meeting organizational objectives. It involves the following steps. Determining what to measure. Top level and operational managers need to identify the implementation processes and results that will be monitored and evaluated. Setting of standards. Strategists must establish performance targets, standards and tolerance limit for organizational objectives, strategy and implementation plans. Standards can pertain to quantity, quality, cost and time. Measuring actual performance. Measuring actual performance may involve measurements in qualitative and quantitative terms and in terms of time and cost. Managers may accordingly ask for performance reports for their employees. Comparing actual performance with standards. Actual performance must be objectively compared against predetermined standards. Deviations, if any, must be identified. Measuring deviations. A comparison of actual and targeted performance may reveal deviations. For instance, if actual sales volume is 9,000 units against a target of 10,000 units, a deviation of 1,000 units exists. If the actual performance is within the desired tolerance range, the evaluation is stopped. Analyzing deviations. Any deviations observed are reported to higher management who analyze the cause of these deviations. Management may accordingly conduct discussions with functional staff. Taking corrective actions. If an organization's actual performance falls outside the desired tolerance range, corrective action must be taken to correct deviations. This may require resetting of goals or objectives or revisions of plans, policies and standards. Corrective steps must be taken at the right time to achieve organizational objectives. Example MTR Foods Determining what to measure sales of MTR products in India. Setting standards target to generate sales worth rupees 1000 crore in 2015. Measuring actual performance sales in 2015 were at rupees 700 crores. Comparing actual versus target performance and measuring deviation. Difference of rupees 300 crore. Analyzing deviation. Unfavorable economic environment, inflation in food prices, lower than expected new consumer acquisitions, lack of presence other than offline. Taking corrective action. To remain relevant and be consumer's preferred choice, MTR is launching innovations and rebranding its products. Considering the dynamic industry environment and changing consumer behaviors, MTR has introduced 44 innovations in three years with plans to introduce more in line with ongoing strategies. Further, many products have become commoditized in the last two years. To distinguish itself, MTR plans to expand product lines to appeal to different ethnic groups. Marketing MTR currently runs multiple consumer-related programs in line with his belief that it is important for consumers to taste products in the food business. MTR has a reach of 2 lakh outlets and is witnessing a 30% increase in sales from rural areas annually, with 10-15% to of its sales coming from rural areas. E-commerce MTR has started offering its products online so that customers can access its entire product range. E-commerce is an extension of Nama MTR, outlets that are currently present in a few cities. MTR has also partnered with Big Basket and Grofers to deliver products. They aim to find local partners in each city over time. MTR's new sales target is Rs 2000 crore by 2020. Stay tuned for more videos on marketing. 
Thank you. Stay tuned for more videos on marketing. Thank you.